Hey guys, it is Game Sammy and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be another bad business video but today we're going to go over the best MTAR class setup. Not the MTAR but the TAR21 class setup. I always think this is the MTAR because that's how I know this weapon. I only know it as the MTAR so that's why I always call it the MTAR but it's called the TAR21. But here we have the Type 2 Dot Sight, Monolithic Suppressor, the defense grip, rubberized tape, and the perk lightweight because we want to be zooming around. So let's just hop into a game and let's get some gameplay and talk about it, alright? What I can say for now, for right now, is uh, the gun is not as good as it used to be. This gun is terrible now. This gun does not match up with what it used to do. At all. Like, this gun is absolutely terrible. Oh my god, dude, I just kept getting mollied there. We had no one to push up. So, of course, he pushed up. But this gun does not... <laughs> it's terrible. It's a pea shooter. It's not as bad as a pea shooter as the AS Val. Oh, I hate the AS Val. The AS Val is one of the worst ARs in the game. That thing, you're not going to kill anybody, and if you do, you're going to have to reload. With this weapon, at least I can kill somebody. At least two people, five feet away from me. But if I'm trying to kill multiple people from at least like 20 feet in front of me, then uh, I might as well say bye bye. Because there ain't no way this thing's doing damage. Past 5 feet, this gun barely does any damage. It becomes a pea shooter. It's one of the worst ARs in the game. Like, you compare this to every other AR in the game. I don't know if it's me, but I swear they slowed down the reloading on this gun. And they slow down the ADS. It feels like it. Or is, I just haven't used the gun in a while, but it feels like they slow down the ADS time and they slow down the reload time on this gun. At first, it took me a bit to get used to the reload time on the ATAR when I was first using the weapon, but after I got used to it, I took off a sleight of hand. At first, I thought sleight of hand was needed, but uh, it's not really needed. It's more of um, if you want it, I guess, but I got used to the TAR-21 without the sleight of hand, so I got used to the reloading. Reloading isn't as bad as it used to be. Oh my, it takes so long to reload compared to like every other gun in the game. Or it could just be another placebo and I'm just being very weird. Also, this gun went from having to one of the guns having none, no recoil in the 1.0 update. This gun had no recoil in the 1.0 update. That's what made it so OP. And now uh, in the 2.0, this, this weapon does not hold up to par anymore. Its recoil is super high for what it's giving, like what the weapon is giving. Like the G36C should have this recoil and the MTAR should have the G36C recoil. Or I don't know, maybe that would be a little bit too OP. Like having any gun with no recoil is OP. The G36C, my god. No way, I just walked away from that. Teammates, get him. Let's go. Oh my god. Please tell me that guy just got three lucky headshots with the AK. Yeah, it was just three lucky headshots. Okay, thank god. Oh my god, teammates, shoot him! What are you guys doing? He has a pistol! Okay, thank god. There we go, we got the camper. We're zooming. Oh no! G36C, dude! Like, this gun is a SMG wannabe, is the best I could put it. Like, it, it should be an SMG, in my opinion instead of an AR now, because it does not hold up to a par with any AR in the mar uh, in the game right now. AS, well, it holds up to the AS Val. AS Val is just terrible, though. AS Val is its own different breed of terrible. Like, this gun only has vertical recoil, though. That's one thing about it, is it practically only has vertical recoil. I mean, it bumps around every now and then, but every gun bumps around every now and then. Get off of me. <laughs> Okay, that guy got four headshots in a row. Five headshots in a row. Mm. 
This gun can't get any feeds though. Like you you can't go on feeds with this gun. This thing's a hit marker machine. You're gonna spend like five seconds on killing one guy, and then by then you're either gonna have to reload or the person's gonna turn around and kill you because of how slow you were killing the other guy. Like this weapon is just very slow and not great enough for anything. Like I feel like this gun is absolutely terrible compared to what everything is now. Dude, can my teammates look to their right? <laughs> they look to their right, they'll be able to live a lot longer. <laughs> this weapon just doesn't feel as good as the other weapons. I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you guys use the weapon, you guys will see. Like, it's not the 1.0 tar that we all lo like know and love. Or know and hate, knowing it was the meta in the 1.0, but... Man, this, like, yeah, now I'm getting, like, feeds and stuff with it, but these guys are just standing still and stuff. Like, but you put this up against people who know what they're doing, the tar is going to get smacked. The tar is terrible. Oh, heck no. Like, for Christ's sakes, the Mac can get a better feed than this. This thing runs out of ammo so fast. Like, I just want the rest of the attachments to come out. I just really want the rest of the attachments to come out. But, hey, there we go. 62 and 11. Not that bad. Even with this bad of an assault rifle, this was actually probably the best gameplay I could get with the assault rifle. This Atar is terrible. The Atar is not up to par with what it used to be. This thing is... <sighs> let's see the let's see the assault rifles. Let's measure it out in there real quick. So we have all these assault rifles. We'll say the bottom ones, uh, the Val, obviously. Then the uh, then it goes AS Val. The reason why I don't say FAMAS is because FAMAS actually does have potential using its hip fire. So I will need to make a class on that, but none of you guys asked for it, so I probably won't. Yeah, it goes Val, AS Val, or yeah, Val, AS Val, and Tar. Then after that, every other assault rifle is pretty decent. Way better than what this thing brings. But yeah, I'm going to go over the attachments one more time. We've got the Type 2 dot sight, we've got the Monolithic Suppressor, the Defense Grip, Rubberized Tape, and the Perk Lightweight, so we can be zooming around, as you guys saw. But yeah, other than that, that will conclude today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more bad business content. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. This game is Sam. Peace out.